Hey, what's going on guys? In this quick video, I just want to let you guys know that I've created my first Udemy course under Traversy Media called Angular 4 Front to Back. It was literally made live 10 minutes ago. Now, a lot of you know that I've made dozens of courses for another company, and I will continue doing that, but this is the first one under my own name. And I'm extremely proud of it, and I would strongly suggest that anyone that has any interest at all in Angular 4 uh, pick this up. Now, many of you know me I make free content I release it you know almost every other day uh, I don't ask for much uh, I'm not one to push sales on sales videos on you guys I think this is the first one ever um, but this is really important to me and if, if I've helped you in any way through this channel if I've helped you you know learn a lot and you watch a lot of my videos and, and you want to know the best way to support me this is definitely it and not because I'm looking for your twenty five dollars but because I'm looking for um, an existence on Udemy which is very hard to get if you know when you're just starting out and uh, you guys can have the opportunity to really help me with that so that I can continue to make more courses and succeed on this platform alright so it's originally fifty dollars but I did include uh, a, a uh, code traversy and also a link in the description which links the code that'll give it to you for 25 bucks so um, you know obviously if you're really struggling and you really can't afford $25 then don't buy it but if, if you can spare it and you know you like what I do and I've helped you in any way then this is a, a, a fantastic way to support me all right so I'm brand new to Udemy as myself not just the guy from Eduonics so any reviews that you guys could post would mean the world to me um, obviously make them honest don't just lie if, if you didn't like the course then be honest but I don't think you'll be disappointed at all it's eight and a half hours long of angular 4 training and we have um, a basic project at the end and then we have an, a really advanced project that uses authentication and firebase and all that so let's take a look at the content so if we go down here, we have the introduction where we just talk about, you know, uh, what the course is about. We talk about what Angular is about, some of the version, uh, some of the confusion of the versions explained, like why there's no Angular 3. Um, we also talk about fi file structure, setting it up. We look at all the files in an Angular application and talk about what they do, um, the CLI, the quick start, uh, an, introduction to, an introduction to TypeScript. Then we move on to components. We look at um, ng module. We look at data binding and string interpolation, all that stuff. Template syntax, so ng4, ng if, property binding, all the all the, the main fundamentals of Angular. Events and forms, uh, two-way data binding, services and HTTP. We have the Angular router section. And then after that, after we go over all the core fundamentals and you've mastered that stuff, we're going to start a project, which is an FAQ app project. And this is pretty basic, but it does get into things like nesting components. We get into emitting output from components and, and that kind of stuff. And then after that, we have our advanced project. And if you already know quite a bit about Angular 4, you might want to just get this course for this one project. And you can see both of these parts here are over an hour and a half. And they have quite a bit of, um, of le lectures here. So let's take a quick look at that project. So I have it running here on my local machine. And you see we have a login page. I'm using Bootstrap 4 for the UI. Uh, I even created this simple little logo for the client panel and we have a login and a register now I made it so that there's actually a settings area where we can disable the registration because a lot of times when you build a, you know an admin panel you're not gonna want just anybody to come and register but I did want to include that that um, you know that functionality to teach you guys how to do that how to register with Firebase so I made it an option to enable and disable okay so let's go ahead and just log in here I already have an account which I think is techguyinfo at gmail and then our password alright so it's gonna log us in and you will see we get this flash message which should disappear after a couple seconds and it lists all of our clients okay it has the client ID the name the email it also has the balance that the client owes us and then up at the top here it's gonna take all those balances add them together and tell us the total okay and if we go and we click on the details for a client whoops uh, it'll give us you know the name the ID the contact email the contact phone adding fields is is extremely easy if you guys want to add more fields we also have the balance here and we can easily change it if we click that it opens up a form and let's say that the client paid us tw uh, $20 and we wanted to bring it down to 100 and then we update it it says balance updated we can also edit 
Okay, we can edit all the, the client info. We can obviously delete the client. And if we want to add a new client, we can do that. And then up here, you'll see we have this settings menu where we can disable or we can allow and, and disallow registration. We can also disable the balance on add. So for instance, when we go to add a client, you'll see we can change the balance. Okay, um, if you want to disable that, we could go ahead and click that and then same for the edit form and submit setting saved and then we go back and we try to add a client we can't edit the balance okay the only way now we can edit the balance is going to the details page and updating it here so a nice little setting and then for the registration if we want to uncheck that and submit and then we'll log out you'll see that there's no registration link not only is there no link but the page isn't going to work if we go to register which normally would work if it was enabled it doesn't it just boots us back and then if we look at our firebase back end you'll see in the database we have a collection called clients and that's where all of our clients are stored if i go to authentication it'll show you the different users that we have and if we go to sign in method you'll see we have the email password enabled and if you wanted to keep going and add you know google and facebook authentication you could do that pretty easily as well uh, using Angular Fire 2, which is what we're going to be using. All right, so the last thing we'll do is just take a quick look at the project code, just so you guys know what we're dealing with. Let me close this stuff up. Now, I mean, I know it looks kind of uh, simple on the surface if you're looking at the application, but if you look in our components folder, we have quite a few components here the add client, client details, dashboard, navbar, login, register, settings, sidebar. So there's quite a few components. We have our guards, so the auth guard takes care of, you know, uh, not letting us go to certain routes if we're not logged in. The register guard takes care of not letting us go to the register page if the registration is disabled. And then we have our models for the client and for the settings. We have our services for authentication, for the client service with Firebase, settings service. So you can see there's a lot that went into this application. So I, I think it's really worth, I think it's more than worth $25. Um, so if you guys are interested in this, you know, if you're not interested in, in, a, in Angular 4 at all, and you know, you don't even know what it is, and you subscribe to me for like basic HTML videos and stuff, then don't buy it, um, you know, unless you just really want to support me. But um, I do think that you'd, you'd, you'd benefit highly from it if you're looking to learn or learn more about Angular 4. All right, so I will be releasing an Angular 4 crash course within the next, I'd say, next week or so to further promote this course. Uh, but if you do buy this course, the crash course won't be much use to you because we go over much more in the, you know, in the Udemy course. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know and uh, let you guys know that I'd, I'd appreciate any support. And that's it. Thanks for watching.